He got away. I suddenly found myself in the middle of the brush and not a sign of the skunk. I don't know what you're raving about, young man. And furthermore, I'm not interested. There is this, uh, this pacing that is very quick, but I, I still wonder whether this is really a screwball comedy. Well, if you look at, compare this to Platinum Blonde, which is a few years before, and which yeah. is Capra, and that's a romantic comedy, and it has a newspaper man, and he has a lot of sort of wisecracks, right. but it's still not this intense byplay. And this one has a, almost the same template, and it's just much, much quicker. Uh, the dynamic it feels um, much more aggressive and much more charged. Well, I also think that it has to do with, this film was made in 19, at the end of 1933 with some retakes in 34 and showed in 34. And by that time, enough time had passed from the introduction of sound that, you know, the cameras were a little bit more mobile. Exactly. You didn't have this uh, set in concrete problem. And so they, they'd experimented a great deal with sound and just in those seven or eight years, you know. The th back and forthness. There was a liberation. Yeah. I mean, it does get credit for being the first screwball comedy. I think this is why, and I think it deservedly so, because I think the libera is a key word there. Mm. You, it's something so liberating about it. I mean, just as the characters are liberated by being in this bus, being in the middle of nowhere. Being on the road. Being on the road. Which is, yeah, which is nowhere. So the term screwball comedy comes from baseball, because a screwball was a kind of a pitch that, that broke in a weird way, you know, sort of like a knuckleball, you know? Knuckleball. And, and there were some pitches that could do it and some that couldn't. Yes. But it's unpredictable. And yeah. of course, you know, the term screwball also means a nut kick, Nuts. you know? Yeah. And at one point, doesn't Gable say, I'm a bit of a nut myself? That's I'm right. That's yes. right. And of course, he says, why are you dames so dizzy? I mean, dizzy dames. Dizzy right. dames and nutty men. They could be silly. I and mean, this was sort of unheard of. I think this is one of the appeals of the film because Films before that, the romantic comedies, they really hadn't been silly. Just like the physical comedy belonged to other than the leads, the silliness belonged to supporting players. And here they could be silly and also be incredibly romantic. Somebody said that screwball comedy is love by ordeal, yes, or courtship by ordeal. You have to pass these tests. It is an ordeal. And then it, what you get at the end is worth so much more because you've had to pass all, all these tests. All the resistances. The resistances, yeah. yeah. Well, Andrew Sarris said that screwball is sex comedy without the sex. And nowhere is that more true than in this movie where the, there's the wall of Jericho, the constant allusions and references and indirection, so you're aware of it much more than if they actually <laughs> went to bed and got it over with. Well, yes, it's, it's, it's a movie that's all about sex, and there's not a single kiss in it. Right. Um, there's an almost kiss. There's an almost it. kiss, yeah. but there's not a single kiss. Yeah. And, and it makes you rethink, you know, contemporary cinema, like, you know, what if there were less... Uh, oh. What, what if there were more impediments? Because I think that one of the problems with romantic comedies now is that, you know, there's no reason for the couple not to fall into bed, and therefore there's no arc, you know? It's true. I think you can't even do it now because you don't have the prohibitions. That's what made it exciting and titillating, because right. marriage was forever, for one thing. I mean, right. once you got married, that was it. Therefore, it was incredibly important who you married right. and that you found the right person. And in fact, I think one of the things about Screwball is it's kind of redefining marriage. Um, in un more unconventional ways.